right, YouTube, where well, I'm Shan, and it's this your is boy Clement Time, baby. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, YouTube family? All right, YouTube. Well, we had to get with our girl Caitlin over yes. here talking to these. Uh, I guess they're liberals. Mm -hmm. about the how awesome you know BLM is, and um, with the systemic or institutional racism. So we're gonna get the definition of that from that young lady right there. Okay, okay. Let's see what she got she's going on for us. Tell us what it is. It down for us, baby. She's gonna break it down and make it dough while they. She's gonna break it down because you know liberals. They know a lot. Yes, they do. They do. Because. I don't even yes. care to know the definition of that word, but she knows it, and yeah, I need I her to tell you what I it is. I the definition. I looked it up, and I still can't find it, but she has the <laughs> definition. Let's get it. <laughs> I think AutoZone deserve to be looted and burned to the ground? Well, it is a big corporation, and they have insurance. Can you give me the definition of systemic racism? I don't know the exact definition. Okay. I don't read the exact definition of systemic So you don't know the definition, but you're going to tell me that it exists? Yes, it definitely does. Okay. So where is a systemic issue? Where is a, a law that's in the system? Where is a policy that's in the system of systemic racism in our country? I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> I was close. What do you guys think of the Black Lives Matter riots? Are they good, bad? I think they're well-deserved because there definitely is a lot of systematic racism still in the country. You think autism deserve to be looted and burned to the ground? Well, it is a big corporation, and they have insurance, so it didn't should be. Like, I can't, I can't speak on that because if I'm not black, and I can't say what's right and what's wrong because I don't experience the racism that they do. So because you're not black, you can't say that AutoZone and their workers didn't do anything to deserve to be burned to the ground? I can't say how other people feel. It's not me experience the racism. If so I, if someone came to your home, burnt your car, took your money, burnt your house down, would you say, well, I can't tell them what's right and wrong because I'm not black. I don't know how that feels. No, because then at that point it becomes personal. Okay. But at but their point, it's their it's personal, personal note of what's happening. Is it not personal for the manager or the workers that work there for their their uh, stuff Lackin to be destroyed, it. their workplaces to be burnt to the ground. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. But they'll be compensated. You won't be compensated if your house burned down, but they'll be compensated from the company. We don't Do you know how insurance works? I mean, uh, have you investigated that? Are you like for sure that's going to happen? They're good with these riots? They have insurance. Like if, if they were to have a regular fire, they have insurance. So they can, work, they can support their workers. If they're a good company, they'll do that. Do you have insurance? Yes. So it's okay if someone comes up and just smacks you in the face or knocks a tooth loose or breaks your nose, you can go have insurance? Well, I don't know. That's what people felt like doing because they're because of racism? Because you have insurance, it's okay? Hmm. But that's not what's happening. They're that going, is what's happening. But they're going up they're to hurting big companies. people. But okay. they're going up to big companies. They're not going up. Okay, so it depends on the size of the company that I can destroy because they have insurance. So well, that I mean, right there, I don't think it's like that because they were saying a whole lot of small businesses right, destroyed. Right, small businesses. And some insurance companies, man, it's like drop you know, like oh, a bag man, of rocks, drop, and they give you a little money back too, man, mm -hmm. man. You, yeah, you are gonna give you all your money back. Oh, we don't cover, we don't cover what is it, what do they call it? Uh, catastrophes or acts of God. Sometimes they may say the policy or riots. Oh yeah, you call you call that. <laughs> they say right. Well, I'm, ca too. I'm calling about some insurance. My place been destroyed. Um, what happened? Riot. Oh, hold on. Um, Oh. Case number five four five six eight two nine five nine four eight five six. We do not cover you up on a riot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's true. That's true. I mean they don't they don't cover that. Oh, you remember my mom when my mom got into that car accident or it wasn't an accident? They called it an incident when um the lady drugged the man the the um on they, the bus? No. The um the the man was getting robbed. Uh -huh. From the store, okay. And the lady jumped in her car and took a high speed chase with the man hanging on her car. I ain't your mom was with And no, but her car hit my mom's van. Okay. So because she was in the midst, in in because the lady was committing a crime, uh -huh. the police wrote it up as an incident, mm -hmm. and the car insurance didn't cover incidents; they only covered accidents, and because the lady was. Doing a crime at the time. I thought y'all had no insurance. She had insurance. She, you sure? They said she had insurance. She said that they, they wrote it up as that. Okay, I'm so like, look, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm was, just saying. Was... Well, I just said that because, hey, insurance can say what they want to say. 
<laughs> hey, now if I'm over there have insurance, listen, if she didn't have insurance, shame on her. Tell the truth, but it's shame on her. Shame on her if she didn't have insurance. But I'm just saying. But you see, okay, you had got that warranty for your car when people told you. They cover everything. They cover everything. Mm hmm. And you took that um, truck to the shop when people told you. They don't, cl they don't come up blow by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't but they say they cover everything. They say in the fine print, they don't cover. Depends that. on what polish you. Use. But it's I got, always I got something in the um, fine print. Civil and it's supposed to cover the engine period. It's something in the engine fine period. print. So they said because I blow by and my diesel motor. I <sighs> wish every diesel motor has some blow by coming out of it. It don't matter. Uh, saying all that to say this. She keeps saying that they have insurance. Like, insurance is an ironclad policy. And these people are required to pay for these, these things to be fixed. When she needs to get a better understanding of what insurance or how insurance works. And stop just saying, oh, they deserve it to, to happen to them. They got insurance. That is the dumbest argument ever. It is up to you in the street and beating you down they're going up to big companies that have no they aren't doing it to me because i'm not in the middle of these riots but they are going up to business owners black and white and they're killing them in the streets in portland a man almost lost his life because he was just trying to protect a woman that was out there getting beat up in these riots yeah and he was protecting them do you think that women deserve that because they may have felt like they just they need to do that for racism? They need to be protected. So what doesn't deserve to be looted or burned down because of racism? Can you tell me the fine line? So yeah, corporations, please. yes, mom and pop shops, no? Yeah, small businesses, no, because they don't have the insurance that AutoZone does. So what is it about insurance that makes something okay to burn down? What's this magical word insurance that makes it okay well, nothing, to destroy property? Well, nothing well, makes I'll, it okay to burn down. But It's a fact of like, the matter why it what it represents. If what you, does AutoZone represent in this Black Lives Matter discussion? What does Auto represent to you? What does it represent to you? Well, it's a company that someone AutoZone. built. They they have workers oh, there that yeah, I'm need this man. Every, every time I turn around, it's always AutoZone or O'Reilly's or and then they go. Oh, why they got to go to AutoZone though? I don't know, baby. Maybe don't, don't burn Walmart down AutoZones, uh, Walmart. Um, what what else? Uh, Chick Fil A. Um, Chipotle, um, try to name all the places I like. Don't don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking like that? <laughs> my all the places I like. Cause in Just my head I was that, like, no places he like. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine them having a ride. They're like, okay, uh. Clem don't like uh he, he, he like AutoZone, so we're not gonna burn it down. Too. Oh, man. <laughs> Walmart, we're not gonna touch that. Clem like it. That's a YouTube guy. <laughs> right. I'm like, wait, that, that, everything that he like, wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> you don't wanna know who I like, cause I my list too long. <laughs> Well, shoot, they, they wouldn't burn, burn down, down anything, nothing, but man. you don't burn have down anything. Riot. Have a peaceful riot. Oh my gosh, why? What? What's the purpose of burning down somebody's business, home, small business, large business, medium-sized business? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I can be serious with you that to pay their bills and put food on the table for their family that's what that represents it represents a company that i can go to consensually and purchase things that i would need and in return i'm paying somebody's salary to be able to provide for their family that's what that represents how does that factor how does AutoZone being burnt down factor into a black mm -hmm. lives matter discussion okay i want to ask you if you had a kid and they went to go get something from the convenience store but they never came back because Someone accused them of stealing, which wrongfully accused just because they look suspicious. Would you be mad if your kid didn't come home from the convenience store? Sure would. Would you be upset if your workplace got destroyed we're because someone about, was upset because of racism? Workplace. We're talking about racism. And what happens... Yeah. What does convenience store and Skittles and what is it, an Arizona iced tea have to do with racism? Mm. That's not the point of it. It's the point, it's you what it represents. It if my son did not come back from a convenience store, I'd want to burn something down too. I'd be upset.
but we're not angry yes G wanting to go out and burn something down no no we're not ones to invalidate or validate their ra their feelings towards race. Oh, absolutely. We can definitely invalidate their actions. Their feelings are one thing, but you can invalidate someone's actions when they're burning down entire cities and killing people in the streets because of racism. Something Why that is an issue. In because they say they're systemic racism. Can you get me an example? A man, you, okay, a man, a black man can go and try and get a job. But if a white man applies for that same job, that white man is more likely, depending on the company, to get the job. It's That's not true because do you know what um, affirmative action is in diversity hires? Do you know anything about that? Have you ever heard of those terms? You can say that your company is diverse and not actually represent it. So people, so organizations by law are required to hire certain races, ethnicities, genders. Have you heard of loopholes? Sure have. Companies go sure have. Loopholes. Sure have. I'm just really confused here. I'm kind of just kind of lost on this aspect of systemic racism. Can you give me the definition of systemic racism? I don't know you're the calm. exact definition. Okay. I don't read the exact definition of systemic So you don't know the definition, but you're going to tell me that it exists? Yes, it definitely does. Okay. So where is a systemic issue? Where is a, a law that's in the system or is a policy that's in the system of systemic racism in our country? I don't want to talk anymore. There is systemic racism in your I would life. just love proof. Read any article. Read any article. You say that you don't look up and read definitions, though. So if you can't give me the definition, you can't give me any examples because you actually don't know what that means. And you're justifying the looting and the burning of our country? What's mm -hmm. going on, guys? What's going on with you? You don't think that <laughs> black people are not are misrepresented? I didn't say that. No, I think they're overrepresented. We have Black Lives Matter down the street in a, on a public street right now. Why does that need to be there? It doesn't need to be there. No one thinks black people don't matter. No one thinks that. There is no systemic racism in our country, and there is not a police brutality against black people in our country. I don't like talking that doesn't to exist. ignorant people. So. Ignorant people? You said that you don't even know the definition of something you think exists in our country. So this is what leftists and Black Lives Matter supporters do. So when you challenge them to give you proof for something or you want just basic examples, just tell me the definition of something, they just walk off. When, you, when they actually encounter somebody who doesn't believe in their narrative, this is how they act. I guarantee you this girl has never been told to her face that Black Lives Matter is a terrorist organization. Police brutality against black people does not exist statistically like they're trying to tell us. And there is no systemic racism in our country. She's never been told that. She's never been told that. But I really like how the man followed her along right there. That was good. That was good. All right. So if you would like more interactions like these and behind the scenes footage of how we got here that's actually the first people we talked to you can go to libertyhangout.tv right now to support my work to keep coming out here and um trying to show these people what the truth is but look at them right there she has her phone in her hand i hope she's looking up what systemic racism is she'll find out it doesn't <laughs> exist go to libertyhangout.tv okay let me ask you a question do police brutality still exist and what's that? She's talking oh, about they just go around black killing people. black people? Black people. How many black people? Don't, okay, is there a certain number of black people they're supposed to kill for it to be police brutality? Did it exist? <sighs> I, guess I don't black know. People. So you don't think that um, police brutality was not exist in 1996? How was I? I mean, thinking? I don't know what year that Rodney King, I may have the year wrong, Rodney, Rodney now, King. Now... Okay, we talk this, about this, okay, things okay, okay, like okay. that. I, I think that um, you had hate. Yes. A man that hate. You know what I'm saying? Police, all the police didn't do it. Not You had certain people, it. certain police officers. Yeah. It always, always a bad apple You had bunch. some that, that So we're hate. not going to say the whole police department just brutalized black people. But we did have racism. You know what I'm saying? And, you, and But you did have those police officers, and we have mentioned it before in other videos, you had yeah. those police officers that were, what, bad apples. I mean, they... They, they just chose and some to of them figured that, take you know, the law in their own... They, they figured they, they, that they, they had to be that way. Because think about it. They had to be that way because the, 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 the area they had to patrol, they had to, like, place some, put some fear into the people that lived there. 
So they feel like because I was going into a jungle, they feel like the hood was a jungle. I had to put fear in, fear in you and still fear in you. That way, you stay out of my way. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to worry about when, worry about you when I come through there. I can ride through. It's a done deal. But was that in every community? Did no, it wasn't in every tell community. Because at the time, every community, every, I mean, every community did not have a cop killing a black person. Certain ones did. And, of course, it was sad because in some instances, okay, if the man is running away, I mean, heck, why, why, why do you want to shoot him in your back? In his back because he's not no, no, no longer a threat to you. That I see is an issue. And I, I thank God for um, cop cams. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. that that exposes the ones that just don't want to do right. Yeah. Bottom line, oh, yeah. man. Some of them don't want to do it. It's hate. Hate still exists, whether we like it or not. Hate still exists. Hate still exists. It does. And it's sad that it does, but those people are choosing to use their hate towards somebody else because of the color of their skin. And I can't even say that just because they're black, they're they're using that. What here recently, what I'm um, in another county over, they those um those what officers beat up this this guy in jail and killed him. And then there was another incident. Black guy. All the huh white a white young yeah, man. And there was another incident um. In another county, not too far from here, well, the the was, white was it a riot by beating the white man up, killing him? No, they just beat him up in the oh, job the for riots. some reason. No, it was just okay. they were just, just him for some reason. And mm-hmm. then it was um when all the killing of the black um men going on as well, there was one incident again where they just I, shot the, the white man. Like I don't, why? I don't agree with riots, but I agree it's, with protesting. They're gonna kill whoever. I, I truly believe in protesting, and I think that some of the stuff that was going on. Needed to be exposed because no, I need, you do no, have, a lot of it need, need to be exposed. Uh, some of those good old boys that's um in the police department that needed to be exposed. So it now, did now bring they, exposure. Now, now it's been exposed, so that's a change that's taking place. No, they can't hide. You know, now. have every last one of the people that may maybe um have um racism, you know, some hate there been exposed? No, mm-hmm. no, still there. Hate gonna always be here, man, and um. Uh, but I truly believe that you need to protest. If anything happened, I think that protesting, protesting is good. Right for the right reasons. Doing a riot as as rioting, is, is, no, it's is terrible. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's 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 an excuse to take stuff. That's all. What do you need that TV for? You go on the wall. You put it on the wall, flat screen. First thing you think about, we we doing a riot downtown. Oh man, over there by uh, Best Buy. <laughs> Don't say Walmart. <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> Oh, so boy, I'm going to walk out. We 275 inches, baby, baby. 275 think, inches. And listen, if anybody had a right right about now, but that's, that, but that's, that's how a lot of people think. Not no. everybody. Not everybody. Some people, just like you got some people that hate. So it's not the whole police department that's um hate. That hate black people. Because mm-hmm. no. you do have, so I, I got friends as police officers. So, and they're good people, man. So, I mean, you can't say the whole police department hate no. black people. It's just a few that hate a just certain hate race period. more than another. It's hate, period, man. They just hate everything, yeah. man. Make it just this hate going to work today. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> hate getting yeah. in police car. They hate turning the camera on. Mm-hmm. Hate they going hate to get gas. Stopping, just, you know, uh, they hate running. Hate driving behind a slow car. And I, I guess they, they turn that camera on, and the ones that hate just hate everything. Turn the camera on, and freeze, freeze, don't run. They pull a gun. God, dog, and I can't shoot them. Uh, I gotta run down now because he got a cam on. You know, <laughs> if the cam wasn't on, <laughs> but it be something totally different. But I am glad that, like I said, it did bring a lot of black to expose expose. No, and cell things. phones brought forth a lot of exposure. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. Before mm-hmm. we didn't have cell phones back in the days, man. So now, yes, you got. I'm gonna give you an example. You got some doctors that do stupid stuff. Nurses too. Nurses. So in every profession, you got something somebody's doing that's stupid, you know, and it, and it's sad. Like when I got my first teaching job, the lady used to drink before she came to work. Mm. They fired her, and then they put me in the classroom. But she smelled like alcohol when she came she in. She smelled like alcohol. When what she you said to her? She t- I, hey, hey, they had back hey, doors. Shout, shout. Okay, no, they had back doors at the school at the time, so you wouldn't know that she came to work. Oh, she came through the back door. <laughs> In a classroom, and the class, the, the kids smelling the alcohol on them. Wow, <laughs> man, that's sad, man. But hey, 
I mean, she I was just, exposed but that's the thing, eventually. Man. All that education, man, she put in, man. But, uh, Time, man, because there's a lot of education you got to have, man. Yeah. And it's going down the drain mm-hmm. because you want to put a bottle to your mouth, and that's an addiction. You know what I'm saying? And some people are addicted to hate. Like they're addicted to alcohol. They're addicted, addicted to, to something. Hate. You know what I'm saying? Doctors, they're addicted to nurses, or something, man. To Why pills. I got to get in this, get in this car? And I remember, I remember my, my brother was selling drugs, and I'm gonna be honest, I was selling drugs back in the days, 1993. Now, it was a long time ago, and uh, I'm telling my age. But um, the cops uh, arrested, uh, just put us on the ground and everything, and and my brother had a, a pocket full of money. They took the money and they said, hey, "Man, y'all free to go." <laughs> he said, hey, man, he told all the police officers, hey, man, you take your wife out to dinner tonight, man. And him, we was cool with that because we didn't want to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? So I've seen, I've seen a lot, man. Are you serious? I've seen, yeah, I have seen a lot, man. And um, that's just the way it was in the hood, man. You know what I'm saying? Because um, they had to come and do that. I had one guy say, hey, look, man, I'm going on vacation. Y'all can sell all the dope y'all want. But when I come back, y'all know how it works. We said, no problem. We sell all the dope we want. Not knowing that on top of the roof they had a <laughs> undercover vice, give it old thing, man. But we was used to them saying stuff like that. But that was police to... brutality. No, nah, I want police brutality. It's just police <laughs> <laughs> structure. It's structuring how they gonna arrest us. But wow. um, well, that's the thing, man. You know, I seen it where we get busted and they take us up there, and one guy try to run, he come back and he beat up so bad, man. They say, hey. We gonna um. This is an example. You try to run. We gonna uh, you gonna look like this. They put you down right there. You sit up inside an apartment while they still filming and they busting other people and put bringing them upstairs. That's just the way it was, man. You know. So um. And and, and some of the wow. stuff we brought on ourselves. Yeah. You know. So I've I've never had it when, when, when you when you ask me the question. I'm like, listen, I did not have to dwell in the area of that. What I just saw on TV was mm-hmm. was it. And they ain't big. Yeah, you watch NWA, man. It's a lot of stuff, man. It, they be they they they. I be it shocked you. more. They are and giving more. it and telling you the truth, man. It's, it's, and every time you know when I watch NWA, I'm like, dang, man, I remember stuff like that, man. I be like, you why know, they did it? Like, areas, like, why they do it? Like some areas, police wouldn't come in after a certain time, man. Oh yeah, we couldn't get people some because of like, you know things like that. But yeah, you couldn't get food. To come in your community because they the po- they wouldn't come if if it was nighttime. Yeah, you know the police, but the police presence would die down. But mm-hmm. of course, we were always in the house, so we, you know, yeah, you had to be in the house when the light when the street light came on. Um, back then when I was growing up, and then yeah. hey, you know, you want to order pizza? Pizza man, don't, pizza man don't come right here at night. We like it's only seven. <laughs> he get robbed. Yeah, he won't come. <laughs> <laughs> He's begging rock. <laughs> I know. I hear where we live at. The, the, the pizza man will come to about 11 o'clock. Yeah. They yeah, close at 2. Yeah. They'll come 11 and 12. We order yeah. pizza. I'll be like, look at them. Look you, at God. You bike on the, on the porch where we live at, man. It's just, man, back when I was, boy, you couldn't leave nothing on the porch, man. Remember <laughs> when we were staying, uh, I think it was 2001, we were staying off of um, St. Clair Street. Uh-huh. And I left some dish detergent because I was washing my car, man. And I went outside, man, this church go. And I said, man, um, I seen some guys standing outside. I mean, y'all, I see y'all stole with this church, man. Y'all stole with this church. No, you were watching the car. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I, I went inside the house. I left the dish church out there on the porch. When I came back, the dish, dish church was gone. I said, man, y'all stole with this church. Come on, man. Not the dish church, man. It was done, too, man. <laughs> it wasn't that cheap. She told cheap me. Room. I was like, babe, you so got, I said, people did not steal your stuff. Man, I, I have seen it where you barbecue and you go in the house and you come back and throw the meat off the grill. <laughs> that bad. <laughs> that bad, man. I'm, I thank God that I don't I, I have moved away from that stuff, man. It's that bad. You barbecuing and it's still the meat off the grill. Seriously. You go in there with um eight leg quarters. Not eight leg quarters, but eight, eight leg quarters. You come back, you got one leg quarters. <laughs> no. <laughs> But my oh, God. man. You, you remember, you remember, remember um, the storm when the storm hit a long time, like seven years or seven years ago? And um, we was at Oak Cove at the time. And the people said, hey, watch out for your generators. Because people were still in the generators at nighttime, but they was putting the lawnmowers out there. You would think the generator's still running, but it's actually a lawnmower. And they switch, it with, switch the lawnmower with the generator. <laughs> I just. 
<laughs> you can't. Man, I don't man, know what to say, man. I don't know. Well, okay. All right. You do. I know we just got off topic just a little bit, but yes, this 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 Black Lives Matter thing. I'm so glad that's over. I'm, I'm, I hope it's over. But yes. Rioting, it's it just it's just ridiculous. You and those stories, just oh my god, that that's too much. I can't. <laughs> oh goodness, but yes, it's the wrong and right way of doing things. You don't yeah, want to damage yeah, or destroy yeah, people's property. All right, YouTube, <laughs> don't forget to like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> well, one more. Okay. I had a, I have I had a '69 Chevy Impala mm-hmm. on silver. We were standing on silver screen at the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm naming all these addresses. So I don't know how I right. remember. But remember, I used to put a cock cover, cock cover over. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. I wake up in the morning, the cock cover gone. Yes. I bought like five cock covers. <laughs> I got to a point. I said, you know what? I'm not even covering the car no more. It's a done deal, man. It's a done deal, man. <laughs> I said, even stop. the ones that you stop. lock from the bottom of it, you put a lock and a rope. I'm sorry, lock and a rope. They were still break. I said, can you it. stop buying car covers? We have been in some. Bad areas, man. So you know, but um, that's that's it. I've done. I just, it just I just thought about that. But it's not worth writing in those areas <laughs> either. <laughs> All right, YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check us out. We got more of this right here coming. Yeah, we was off topic a little bit, but uh, yeah. you know how we make it do what it do, baby. <laughs> well, we give y'all peace. <laughs>